Hi, I'm Gary White with Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Wilma Sorrell, who is the chairperson for mm -hmm. the annual Christmas parade here in downtown Bardstown. Yes. And this year's parade is going to take place on? Thursday, December the 5th. Okay, at 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. Uh, music starts at 5.30 um, here at the Court Square uh, Visitor Center now and at Baskin Robbins. We're still looking for a group or a performer that can uh, do out, be a musical group out front and sing Christmas carols to kind of get the parade uh, corralled into the parade. Um, mojo, whatever. Yeah, get them excited. <laughs> get them excited about the parade. <laughs> so we're still looking for a group, so if you know anyone that would like to come over and sing that night um, for an hour, uh, 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, that would be awesome. awesome. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. it's going to be a kick, the parade's going to kick off at 6 o'clock. Yes. Right down 3rd Street in Bardstown. Yeah, we actually start the parade at West, no, at Broadway and 5th. Uh -huh. by Tiger Alley. If you know anything about Bargetown and you know where Bargetown City Schools are, um, at we kick the parade off on that corner. And the parade lineup, it's every year it's grown, mm -hmm. but the whole parade goes, this whole span from 5th Street all the way to West Stephen Foster on Broadway. So there's not an empty space anywhere on parade day. <laughs> and then it will make a right on um, North 3rd by Baskin Robbins, and then it will come to the courthouse or the visitor center here right. in Marshtown, and then it'll make another right and just proceed down Stephen Foster. And what is the theme for this year's? A parade? magical musical Christmas. A magical musical yeah. Christmas. That's yeah. very, very nice. Yeah, a little catchy, yeah, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So is the, has the deadline been reached for signing up to be a part of the parade? Today is the deadline. Okay. Um, for the $25 fee. So what we do, uh, Gary, is we've had the information out since the end of September, 1st of October. So we charge a $25 fee, which goes to the Barstown Kiwanis Club. Right. They actually, in turn, take that money and they um, will donate that money back to different organizations that are in need in Nelson County right. with that money, which is a great thing to do. Um, and then now, so after today, if you do not turn your form in or if your form is not postmarked by today, we will charge a $50 fee because it's a lot of logistical things to get every, every float, every entry in a spreadsheet. You know how big my mm -hmm. spreadsheet is. And I have to type all that up and it just takes a lot of time. So we really encourage everyone to only pay the $25 fee and get their form in before by or before today the november 22nd so if yes. you're watching this after november 22nd it's 50 dollars <laughs> yes yes if you're watching at midnight 1201 it's going to be 50 dollars yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but we'll uh, still take your 50 dollars because it's still going to a great cause absolutely and we want you to be in the parade absolutely and we do want to mention that that the parade is actually sponsored by the Qantas club here in bardstown yes correct? and uh wbrt wokh radio mm -hmm. they basically pay all the bills for the advertising and all that stuff so you know it's great that we have that and then the Qantas club they help us with volunteers i will have volunteers throughout the whole city a parade route on parade day that will make sure that safety and people know where to go to on parade day. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a lot going on. Absolutely. So it's a magical musical Christmas mm -hmm. and it's the parade here in downtown Bardstown. It's going to be on Thursday, December the 6th, starting at six o'clock. Is there anything new that people can expect to see with this year's parade? Um, I, I've seen a lot of new entries come in, which is mm -hmm. great. I have um, lots of school kids. We do have music at the fountain across from Baskin Robbins, and that's going to be a lot of our local middle school students choir. Uh -huh. So I think that's going to be awesome to have all those parents and aunts and uncles, grandparents to come out and hear their kids sing at a huge venue on parade day. That's great. Uh, yeah, and so that's something new. And that way, that gives that end of town, that second block, something on that end of um, North Third in the historical district. Um, also, I do want to mention that if you are dropping off someone 
to be in the parade or whatever it may be or if they're singing don't park you cannot park after 3 p.m. on North 3rd from Baskin Robbins to the courthouse move your cars don't park there they will be towed if they're there after 5 p.m. Uh -huh. uh, so we'll have signage that goes up the day before the parade also if you're going to um, have someone in the parade and you're dropping them off be sure to park at St. Joe, Bethlehem, Bardstown, an off location and walk your your family member to the parade location. Everyone will have their own number by the week of the parade. So if you're number 27 dance pros and there's 190 students that are dancers, walkers, performers in that group don't I can't get 190 people bringing their cars on Broadway that day you need to park off-site and walk your students in mm -hmm. and for the safety of those anyone that's on the parade route uh, that's why we ask you to do that we will have Kwanians all along Jones Avenue Kennett all of those streets along West Stephen Foster mm -hmm. going up to Broadway to make sure that you don't come through there unless you're a resident. Okay. And all floats must enter in. All floats, all entries, all walkers, every group must enter in at West Stephen Foster and Broadway down by the jail. Okay, so that's the meeting spot for everybody. That's the meeting. Everybody will enter in there. You will be told what number you are. Um, and you that's the people that are that are the organizer of the float uh, Just the people that are driving the float the person that may be driving a school bus um, That's in the parade. We have Barstown High School. They dress up one of their buses. It's a Rudolph Okay, and Fun. so they will take that bus down to West Stephen Foster and Broadway and they'll pull it up Say if they're number 27 they'll see numbered stakes that are like five foot tall construction stakes and we have those numbered one to a hundred and they'll pull that bus up to number 27. Um, if you're um, a walking group like the um, Boy Scouts um, Troop 56, I'm just throwing that out there, um, and they're number 42, they need to come in Broadway. They need to walk up to their numbered stake. Just park off site. You can send rest of your group, but one person needs to go back there and check in and get that number. Um, that's how we know to announce. Gary, Gary will need to know what number is coming through so mm -hmm. he can announce it properly. Because if you're dance pros, you don't want to be announced as a Girl Scout. Right. You want to be announced as dance oh, pros. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And it's usually a great parade. Yeah. Fortunately, it's mm -hmm. been kind of chilly often, but fortunately it hasn't rained. We so would much it... rather it be cold than rainy. I yeah, can't no, no handle rain, the yeah. cold. Is it rain or shine? Um, we don't, it's, well, if it's like torrential downpours, we reschedule. will move it to the Friday, the next night. Yeah. Uh, we're not even going to discuss that just yes. because we don't want to have to move it. I've been in contact with, uh, Kevin Harned from Wave 3 and he's, mm -hmm. he's going to try to let me know as soon as he gets like the up latest up to date weather <laughs> and I've been messaging him back and forth. And so we'll see what the weather brings. Great. So, yeah. So, it'll be a magical musical Christmas parade right through downtown Bardstown on Thursday, December the 5th, 5th. at 6 o'clock mm -hmm. p.m. Everyone is welcome. Some of the shops will be open. Mm -hmm. You can go in there too. Line up the streets, take part, enjoy mm -hmm. it. If you wanted to take part, it's going to be $50 entry fee at After this today. point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to take part, or you can just come on down and enjoy. Yes. And, and you know, come down a little bit early. Bring your chair, your blankets, hot chocolate carafe or whatever, and just sit there and enjoy the crowd. And because a lot of people start lining up, believe it or not, around 4:30, 5 o'clock. Yeah. Because they want a, they want to be on the road. Also, if you've got little children with you, and I know our parade um, entries know this, they're not allowed to throw candy out. They have walkers that will walk and hand the candy out. So don't let your child into mm. the street while the parade's going just for their safety right. and i know everybody knows this but we want to make sure we we reiterate that message as much as possible on our media uh, yeah. sites fantastic 
And again, I'm talking with Wilma Sorrell, who's been a chairperson with the parade for a while now. Oh, yeah, it's been several years. Um, I started when Benita Riggs was doing uh -huh. the chair, and then um, when her sponsor dropped off, then she's like, I'm, I think I'm done. And so then I took over, and it's been, we've tried to improve it on what she had already improved on, which it was always a great parade. But I think we've improved it a whole lot with the lineup and getting, being more, trying to be as organized as possible because it's a hard undertaking with a hundred entries. Yes. And she did such a phenomenal job and was such a mentor to learn from. And yeah. we've grown our volunteer base with having the Kwanians, which is really good because we needed that. Mm -hmm. And it is the annual Christmas parade sponsored by the mm -hmm. Uh, Kiwanis Club to a yeah. fundraiser for them. We also no. have a lot of uh, high school students volunteering <coughs> to help. Mm -hmm. The night before they'll help put out stakes. They're going to help with the, the list the day of, uh, mark off students so or for parade entry. So we also have like those student volunteers which is great to in, involve the schools in this. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a community-wide event. Mm -hmm. It is. So come on out on December the 5th starting at 6 o'clock p.m. and right in downtown Bardstown. It's been Gary White with Wilma Sorrell for Child 6 Television. Thank you. Thanks, Gary.